show us your tips. Staggy and Beaver with you for a weekend preview. Beaver's in fine form after being missing last week. Uh, he's going to carry me through Melbourne a little bit later on, but we'll get there. Uh, how are you, champ? Yeah, no, mate. So I've been sunning myself up north, so uh, apologies to the fans. Left it to Dagster, but I'm sure he uh, acquitted himself well. And uh, there he is, striding around in his in Tigers jersey. Chirpy and cheery as ever after a win last night. It's there a streak. It's a streak, mate. <laughs> Making a late charge. Exactly. Top 16, here we come. <laughs> hey, you beauty. <laughs> uh, yeah, so good to have you back. We uh, It was tough work in Sydney last week. We yes. sort of managed to get out on running by in the Melbourne Quaddy again, so salvaged a bit of, bit of pride in the end. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. We've got – we'll kick off at Wink Stakes Day tomorrow, though, where uh, the Randwick Rail is in the three-metre position. Beautiful weather. All systems go for Randwick, I guess. Uh, what do you make of this card? Yeah, not a bad card. A um, little bit tricky early, but uh... – Able to line a few up later and uh, hopefully uh, got some winners there for the for the fans. Beautiful. Uh, just a quick note, hopefully as well. Now, uh, got a bit more time on my hands. We will try and get some midweek stuff happening in the next uh, week or two as well, if you're up for that, Beaver. Absolutely, mate. Sounds like uh, a good approach and, uh, you know, the more winners, the better. Perfect. Let's kick off with a midway with a 1,200-metre benchmark 72. Have you got a winner here? Yeah, look, yeah, as we know, these are always difficult races. Um, going with the favourite with Nash aboard, well-timed. It is drawn a little bit wide, but I thought the resumption was was pretty handy. And uh, uh, I don't know how legitimate some of these others here. Smashing Eagle's second favourite, it always promises to to run well, but uh, and and genuinely does, but doesn't win too often. So um, Bandina was good last start, but I think, yeah, it doesn't get as cosy a draw here. Um, I'm going well-timed. I think it's probably got uh, the most upside of some of these. Yeah, interesting. The Racing New South Wales have mapped it in front of Bundina. Uh, surely Bundina just doesn't sit out on a limb. But if it does, I suppose national improvement, it's the one to beat. Uh, I think those two can fight out, Bundina and well-timed again. Obviously getting a price from the gates, I suggest, and I agree with you that Smashing Eagle... That you were now, you know, very deep in a prep for the Ryan stable and just doesn't want to win. So, no. uh, yeah, I, I saw it the same way. Five from two for me. I went looking for a bit. I couldn't find anything else. Cheerful legend. Uh, if I'd seen more from its Randwick form, I might have been a little bit interested fresh. But now we'll move on. 2,400 metre benchmark, 78 and odd race here. I'd, I'd, at the end of the day, I had to, tr I guess, try and in invent something here because I don't like any of them. Uh, one of which was Majestic Style, who gets a seven-day back up here after being stuck to the inside last week. Uh, just at 20s, I may have a stab at that. And I was I was probably more keen on Jabberwockies when I started, just because it's complete different form, but you might want to wet. Left dry is really the go there. Uh, so I'm going to, for the record, might have a small stab here at Majestic Style. Something Jabberwockies and possibly something Strathtay, actually, who now gets Nash after carrying uh, The Apprentice the last few starts. So uh, don't really like the race that much. What do you think? hate the race. Uh, very similar to you. Um, nothing really gets me overly excited here. Always got to have a close full eye on the wallet mm. trained stayers in these types of affairs. They generally do bob up, and that's probably why they're first and second favourite. I did go for Jabberwockies. Um, just... Similar to you, just went for the different form line. Hopefully it comes here. It is a dual acceptor. Um, but I thought it was consistent enough and um, I don't have to be too good to win this. Yep, no, that's it, absolutely. And Mark Zara is definitely no slouch coming up here for some good rides. The third is the highway. We've got an 1,100-metre handicap, probably the weakest highway, I thought, in a long time with a lot of Lismore and Gundagai form. Filtering in here, did you could you find anything you wanted to back though? Um, no, I couldn't, and that's why I went for the I went for the favourite who's only had the one start. Gun the guy made, and I've seen these crop up before. There was one that they took to Melbourne uh, that, w that did the same thing that won well there. Um, don't know if it's the same stable. Um, oh, it went up the straight. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know, can't, the yeah. name so, slips my mind now. Yeah. Um, so I, McDonald jumps on one by five lengths, was a favourite that day, um, and then put out for a spell. Uh, I think it has a clear edge on these, and I, I'm expecting it to win. 
if you go to such a weak highway, I went looking for a couple of the highway, the ones with proper highway lead up form, uh, and that's Atmospheric Rock and Cool Storm, who uh, Cool Storm probably leads this from gate one and finished alongside Lonro's Queen and Super Norwest, which I'd say is better form than a lot of these. And at 10 bucks, I will, I'll put it on top. Uh, as I said, Atmospheric Rock interests me a little bit here, a highway constant, uh, even Consenza, if you know, I forgive there, that was 50s. I was just looking uh, yeah, away from that Gundagai guy stuff, but it did bolt in. It was impressive and does get J-Max. So given it is such a weak race, it probably just pisses in and I've wasted five minutes of everyone's time there. But what's different to normal? Uh, the, the actually, don't, no, come in. don't call me honey, we'll run well again. <laughs> the fourth is a mile. Do you, want, do you want me to assess that for? Or, um, I'm going to move on. You just want to let <laughs> Uh, you, you can. It might take longer. Uh, mile 78, <laughs> this won't take long. The only concern here is West of Africa getting buried from gate one, isn't it? How are we getting six bucks because it's up in weight? Oh, possibly. Um, maybe slightly better Clark company, but you're 100% right. Um, no, it's not six bucks anymore. Sorry, who's come out? Yeah, it's still oh, lost, around the four or five buck mark, mm -hmm. and I thought that was uh, pretty juicy odds for this. So I was keen to, keen to bet again. Agree. I, I think I think even luck it wins. Uh especially when you consider peace officer one doesn't like winning, two loses Nash, who jumps on unusual legacy, who is the only danger, I've decided, because it might be a good horse. Uh and happy to take on most of that rest of the market. So I'm gonna possibly really have a crack at West Africa and maybe save unusual legacy here. Uh anything to add? Um no, I was keen on West Africa and I'm going to stick with it. I've backed it last two starts. Um, no reason to jump off now. Uh, this isn't any more difficult. Uh, maybe the main danger is unusual legacy resuming. Beauty. Uh, the fifth is the Premier's Cup, 2000 metre group three. Uh, and we've got a shorty here in Elias. Uh, look, my thought is maybe it is a bit short, so given we've only seen it once, but was ultra impressive, um, is top pick, and up against a lot. Generally, Calipor needs a run, uh, and, and probably given the weight it's got here, will be, this will be treated as a warm-up. Uh, so I couldn't really find anything to take it on. So uh, slightly short, but I've got the favourite Elias on top. Uh, if I'm going to name a danger... Touristic's going pretty well. It'll run to a place again, probably. But have you seen this any differently? No, I haven't. I've gone Elias on top. I think it's one of the better bets of the day. Um, it's trolled nicely after, you know, first race here. Took care of Hopeful quite comfortably, over 2,000. Um, yeah, I think this is a horse on the way up that may have grander plans than this. Mm. Yeah, shades of that, uh, the horse last year that put a few together impressively. The same stable in red and black, just fine. Uh, shout out just to fine. yeah, Correct. um, find out it's going actually. Uh, let us know. Um, <laughs> the uh, yeah, one of the owners is a, is a fan of the show. The six is the Silver Shadow Stakes, uh, over 1200 meters. Good little three year old race here. Uh, the usual suspects it'll go through for the Princess series. Who do you like? Yeah, good little race with, uh, with a fair few resuming here. It was hard to line them up. Uh, I thought the favourite was just a little bit skinny. Yeah. Um, at the sort of five to four, six to four mark, I've gone for Amina from the Freedman Stable. Uh, I think it's uh, a horse with plenty of potential here. Uh, posted a big win when it was first up, um, winning its maiden um, last preparation. They were good runs. Um, it was only failure was in um, uh, in the Percy Sykes, wasn't it? Um, yes, which uh, had, didn't have the best of luck there and did start. Didn't have the market. best of luck, got back and only finished less than three lengths behind an easer um, at $5. I think that shows that that's got a bit of talent and I got it on top. I thought the $5 was just a slightly better play. I've got Manal on frop. I think it's got on top. It's got the best two-year-old form. Obviously, we need to see it all, do it all again. Agree, slightly short because I think there is talent here. Uh, I thought the trials of Erno's Cube were really good uh, and he's a, a very yep. honest horse. Uh, will run well better than the double figures it opened at and agree with what you said about Amina. Interesting is Zaytung because it has, I know it's come off uh, some Canterbury and uh, out wide, and Canberra I think it was, but I thought they were both ultra impressive and they don't tend to just run around for, for the sake of it. So... A little bit scared of it, but uh, we'll, I was going to treat Manala's, for now, the best horse in this race. 
The Quaddy kicks off with a 12, the 1200 metre Group 3 show county quality here. Uh, and my opening thoughts on this race was I thought 60 to 1, about 70 to 1 about Griff was a ridiculous price. Uh, completely forgotten here. But that being said, uh, I'm going to put a horse that's a little bit tied to it on top in Southport Tycoon at double figures. I th- just to, no, I'm <coughs> scared of Jolly Star and it's an absolute life chance, but it is only coming here from three-year-old Phillies grade. And I think Southport Tycoon and the former round V8 and some of those horses stacks up well here. So trials were good. Did uh, Tried alongside Manal, actually. Uh, so double figures. We'll find out there. Uh, I think NCAP's a life chance. Gate one's never been its friend. And, yeah, some fresh blood here is, is very interesting to me. Uh, what have you made of this? I'm going for the regressive type, uh, Kirby Sun. Okay. It's a horse that I like. Um, a horse that I think is uh, in for a big preparation. Uh, did some good things last prep. And based on its first up run uh, two weeks ago, um, over the 1,000, uh, I'd like the way it let down there. Um, I think there's plenty of improvement to come out of that. Uh, drops back to 53, gets the right uh, run here in gate five. I think it's going to be hard to beat. I think you're right. Um, Southport Tycoon's an interesting uh, runner resuming. And Yellow Brick, um, I like the fact that they've brought it here now uh, for a Sydney campaign, and I certainly wouldn't be leaving it out. I think it's good each way else. Yeah, I could be some probably meets the right race here with a lot of these Looking for 1,400 mile, I suppose, uh, with yep. guineas and the like down the road. So, yeah, good shout. Uh, this is about all I've got time to do this week, but uh, we're in your capable hands now, Beaver. I'll chip in where I can. Oh, there's just fine in this race here. in the wing stakes, a group one, the first of this season, 1,400 metres. Uh, is this favourite a moral? I don't think it's a moral. I think it's going to be super hard to beat, and it is my own top pick. Um, resuming here, uh, Gets the right draw, gets the right, um, gets the right run. Uh, hopefully not too far out its ground. I just thought Riff Rocket was gate twelve. It's going to be behind it. I can't see Riff Rocket beating it. Um, uh, via Sistina, I think it's a huge chance. I think eight dollars fifty there is a good price. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just thought Tropical Squall, Squall was a dead set live chance, given that there's not a lot of place here. Um, there you go, just finds here as well. Um, a uh, tropical score will probably lead these up and it's going to be uh, in it for a long way. So I think it could be the main danger to Vanker if they can slow it up and sneak away. Perfect. Uh, Samana will run well again, I think, on a, a drier track uh, coming off that shorter break here. Uh, the only sort of horse of other horse of interest you haven't mentioned there. The ninth is 1100 metre toy show quality. And when I had a quick whip through earlier, I thought the double figures around Lady Laguna was a very big price. Uh, it's a very honest on-pace horse here. And a lot of these aren't really proven above sort of um, listed grade, and it is. And I think it's a great bet, 11 bucks. As I said, I haven't spent much time on the, the back end of this card, but uh, I'm going to put it on top here at least. What have you done? Yeah, it comes in for $8 now, but I certainly had it um... – it did catch my eye when I saw the price and thought uh, that was uh, quite an attractive proposition there. So I certainly would be chopping out on it. I'm going the Black Cloud. Um, again, horse that I thought was pretty impressive last preparation, probably meets or definitely meets um, best company that it's met before here. Um, but I think Fresh can run wells, one, two out of two Fresh. Um, it's definitely suited by 1100. It's got the inside gate. Uh, won't be far off the pace. Uh, certainly hard to beat. Yep, yep. The last is a benchmark 78, 1200 metres. Springley short price favourite. Who do you like? I like Springley. Um, again, another horse. There's a few horses here tomorrow of ones that I do follow and, and have followed a bit, and Springley is one of those. It's probably close to a certainly beat first up. It was given no... No clear air to get into um, its work, but still um, still almost won and uh, only a roughy that came down this middle that had a full head of steam up uh, got the better of it. I think it'll be further improved. I think it's going to be hard to beat. Main danger, panic. I think it can run well. Uh, good little horse. It's trialling well. It should be ready to go here. Awesome. Uh, how are we going to do this, Cordy, given I haven't done the last two races? Uh, should I just make it up or do you want to have a... 
take the reins here. Mate, um, I can do the quaddies. Uh, if go you for, like. Yeah, go for your life. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's have a crack here. First leg, race seven. Uh, going to leave the favourite out. Uh, looking for a bit of value. I'm going to go 14 out, Kobe Sun. One, Southport Tycoon. Four, Yellow Brick. And 10, end cap. Uh, in the second leg, I'm going to go number six, Fangirl, number seven, Via Sistina, number 11, Tropical School. Cool. And in the third start. leg, I'm going to go number 10, The Black Cloud, number one, Lady Laguna, number four, Kamochi, and number two, Opal Ridge. And to finish the day, I'm going to go number seven, Spring V, number three, Panic, Number six, Flying Sultan, and number 10, World Alliance. Very good. Uh, your best in value at Randwick? My best is race five, number three, Ulysses. And I struggled to find anything um, with, a lot of, with a lot of value, to be totally honest. There was one that I thought could run well um, if some of them were off the... The mark, but I'll go number race six, number four, Amina. I think you might get a bit better than $5 there. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to make my best race four, number one, West of Africa, and my value race nine, number one, Lady Laguna. Down south, uh, we head to Mooney Valley for a, not the thickest card. The rail goes odd, – odd meeting, actually, given we're on the doorstep of spring, but the rail goes the five-metre mark, so let's just see how that plays out if we're, if we're getting on pace by the end of the day. And we're kicking off with a 2,500-metre handicap. How are you going to start this one off? Yes. How am I going to start this one off? Uh, let me just grab my form back up. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the favourite here, Dashing Duchess. Back at last start. Um, it was a good win. Just sat sat handy enough. 53 kilos here. Certainly hard to beat. I think it fights it out with the second favourite, Lordship uh, Price Camp. Uh, they do tend to put some good runners together for these types of events. Um, it showed some good improvement last start. wasn't far off horrifying, uh, which was a nice win um, coming over from an over overseas. So uh, maybe the main danger, but pretty keen on dashing Duchess in the first. The second is a 1,200-metre for the three-year-olds. Uh, yep, three-year-old boys. Uh, good little race. Again, a couple of uh, talented horses here, including a couple from the Blue Stable. Uh, who do you like? Yeah, there is a couple of talented ones from the Blue Stable here, but how can I not tip a horse by the name of Daggers? Uh, good question. Um, named after yourself, of course. Um, Nelly is fast. Yeah, I've got it on you? top. Uh, probably not as fast as you, um, but handy enough. Um, when it's first start by four and a half lengths uh, at Sandown, uh, look, looks to looks to be pretty pretty smart. Gets the one gate. Yep. Um, that's gonna hopefully do it some favors. Um, the three the three favorites are gates one, two, three. So that's going to be the uh, story, I think. The third is a fifteen twenty three handicap here. Does jo does Dom get back on track and push forward here or? It yeah, might do. I, I've I've gone around it again. I thought it was slightly. A bit disappointing Slightly skinny, last I think yeah. Trunk's going to probably try and lead as well, so there might be a little bit of pace on here. Um, I think that might set it up for a horse like Evaporate. Yep. Um, I had it on top, uh, third up here. Loved the way it finished off last start. Uh, that was a, that was a good win. Um, I think there is improvement in it, and yeah, it can it can run extremely well. Um, might just sit off them and hopefully be too strong at the end. Beautiful. I don't disagree. Um, I like Evaporate. I, I, it's been freshened up. I liked it a few weeks back and have just kept it for this. So uh, nice find there, Beaver. 1,200 metre black caviar, uh, Valet black caviar plate. Uh, obviously, we lost her earlier in the week for the three odd fillies. Uh, a good fillies race this is. Who's going to win it, though? Yeah, I've gone for the blue colours photograph. Yep. Uh, two from two this time in. Uh, no reason it can't be three from three. Uh, they were Pretty good wins. One of Maiden, then went to Open Company. Um, took care of Diamond Firetail, who's in this by three and a half flanks. Um, pretty much similar weights for that. Um, can't see it. 
not running well. Um, obviously, a few horses in here with some good form. Again, Immortal Star, thought that was a great resumption. Uh, first up, I think, uh, probably just petered on its run there, but only half length behind Blue Stratum. Uh, it'll it'll certainly be in it for a long way, and um, you can't leave out the favourite from the Freedman Stable. It was a nice uh, win at its only start, but photograph on top for me. The fifth 20, 20 40 metre handicap, uh, oh, sorry, benchmark 78. Can Lincoln Rocks give him a start and a beating again? Can certainly win. I'm going to go for Star Vega. Um, yeah. I, they, they put some money on it last start after a really good second and it, it came home from on the turn and just uh, flew home uh, over the 2,000. Hopefully there's enough pace on here. Gate 5, again, should get the right draw. Has Top Jock and Shin on board. Uh, I think around the $455 mark, so nice little bet in this and um, maybe able to be slightly too good for the favourite. The 6 is another 78 over a mile. Uh, step aside is very good last time out. I suppose you want to see how the track's playing by now. How have you lined them up, though? Yeah, it was good last time out. But, uh, again, another horse that uh, promises and runs a lot of places but doesn't win all that often. I'm going to go Regal Zeus. Um, cool. Again, another horse that ran well at this track last start, led, uh, had to do all the bullocking work and got run down late. Uh, I think, again, it probably leads here. don't know there's too much that's going to challenge it um, on pace. Uh, so if it can control, it um, might be too hard to run down. 15.23 handicap is race seven. And uh, one of, one of I guess, ours, and particularly yours last time in See What I See resumes here. Who have you found, though? Look, I've gone See What I See. Um, having said that, if it is vulnerable, it's probably first up here. Um, but again, I, I don't know how genuine some of these these are, except for, you know, um, obviously not, not convinced Holy Man's is that genuine. Reinberg's consistent, uh, but doesn't win out of turn. Rhapsody Chick is a good horse who's strung up <coughs> together, but come up against a better quality field last start and um, ran a nice race, uh, which was solid. But I think the other one just has the class edge and... Any of those outside of that, I just think uh, they're, they're good they're triers. No, very good. The penultimate is a thousand metres. Uh, Mornington Glory pops up again off its big win last time out. Is do we get the same result? I think so. Um, again, I can I see the money's come for it a little bit here, and I certainly like it as a horse. Third up, um, Braindom Gate Eight here's perfect. Bold for Steel gives it the cut across. Can sit where it would like here, and uh, as Bold Bastille gets tired, it goes past, albeit got to give seven kilos. That, yeah, this feels like, I don't even remember, I don't remember a uh, years ago, actually, probably was now. Um, they've tried, the stables tried uh, horse like Petit Falou, the three odd filly tried to take on the older sprinters and just got monstered here. And I think Mons and Glory might do the same thing. Uh, first thoughts here. The rest of these belong in the 900 meter sprints on Friday nights. So, uh, yeah, nice, nice price three dollars more into glory. I think the twelve hundred meters benchmark eighty four takes us home, and anything here caught your eye? Yeah, open race this one. Um, Going to go with uh, number eight here, extra two. It's got the wide draw, which um, I think by this time might be okay. Might be able to just slot in and swoop around. Shin Ma combination is a very good one. Love the way um, it hit the line first up. Uh, from midfield behind Home Rule, who is also in this, but I think um, might meet it slightly better than last time, a couple of kilos better. Um, and I just think uh, with that fitness edge now, uh, run under its belt, um, might, might have more improvement and might be too good. Beautiful. And Home Rule's won its race for this preparation. Yeah. I think he's our Bonneval. Uh, could be a sniper there. Uh, kept the 1,200 oh, metres again. tipping that I know, horse. I know. It's, the only thing it'll snipe, mate, is when it hits the straight, someone in the bloody stand will snipe it, mate. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. Uh, we'll move on because I can't, me, I'm trying to... Give me your money. I'm trying to think of all those horses you stick to, but I, I can't think of any right now. Let's move on. Uh, yeah, <laughs> There's plenty of them. Don't yeah. worry. I'm not, not, not denying that. Yeah, yeah. Give us a quote. Just quaddy. not that bad. No, sorry. Give us a quote. <laughs> 
Uh, first leg, race six. I'm going to go number 11, Step Aside, number eight, Regal Zeus, number 16, Name Dropper, and number 12, Amin. In the second leg, I'm going number nine, See What I See, number four, Reinberg, number seven, Rhapsody Chick. Cool. In the third leg, I'm going number five, Mornington Glory, number seven, Sands Doot. And to finish off the day, I'm going number eight, extra two, number two, home rule, number nine, prowling, number 12, along the river, and number one, super Razi. Very good. Got a best in value? Yeah, my best is race eight, number five, Mornington Glory. And my value bet comes up in race, what race was it? Three, number five, evaporate. Fantastic. Any happening in Queensland? Uh, there was a little bit at Queensland. I actually didn't, wasn't very excited on too many in Queensland, unfortunately. I had a good look through this and, and nothing really jumped out at me. I did like the favourite in race three, number eight, uh, Anchorage. Uh -huh. I think that'll be hard to beat. I think in race four, number 19, Hell, if it gets a start, um, can run extremely well. And then I liked one later in the day which was race eight, number one, at Boom Talk. Awesome. Thank you, mate. Good to have you back. Good to be back. We'll uh, do it again. Like I said, potentially midweek kickoff next week, so we'll, we'll get, try and get something out there. If not, we'll be back for, definitely for a Saturday show. Uh, all the best this weekend, punters, and uh, we'll chat soon. Catch us.